Hey, I just wanted to say to people that may be new here, we do things a little bit differently here at the Sanity Machine. We don't sugarcoat shit. We don't put sprinkles over junk. We don't put sprinkles over evil. We don't put sprinkles over a, a Sunday that's made of lies and made of poison. Um, we don't sugarcoat things and don't pull punches. We don't sugarcoat things and we don't try to make everything sound nice and sound good. And, you know, if I do an, if I analyze a near death experience and I think I see signs of the person lying or deceiving, or I just, my radar goes off, my spidey sense, my intuition tells me, Hey, this, this feels wrong. This seems like, you know, th this seems like crocodile tears or this person seems to be making things up, exaggerating, whatever the case may be. Okay. I'm going to say it unlike other channels. Um, that's the thing. If I see red flags, I'm going to say, this seems like a red flag to me. I'm just going to point it out and be blunt and be honest about it. That's how we roll here. So you're going to notice some things. You're going to say, wow, I've never seen somebody say that before. I've ne I never heard somebody say that before. I've never seen uh, near-death experiences analyzed like this before. Usually they just present the near-death experience like it's absolute truth and people are supposed to just watch it and nod their head. You know what I'm saying? And if it's ridiculous, I'm going to call it ridiculous. If, it, if it's a galactic ambassador, you know, clown show transformer, I'm going to point it out. And uh, there are things different. We do things differently here at the Sanity Machine. If I see somebody that's, uh, their near-death experience video seems foolish and, you know, like an old man. And uh, I'll say you have a lot of work to do. I'll talk to them the way that they talked to some of us from our generation when we were younger, except they said it about school, about getting indoctrinated, brainwashed. They wanted us to do the work in school to swallow all that fucking Kool-Aid and get indoctrinated and brainwashed. And I'm telling them when they're older, you've got a lot of work to do spiritually. Nothing to do with sitting in a desk in a government school or a Catholic school and listening to these brainwashers but you've got a lot of work to do spiritually, and I will be stern with them. And in fact, I'll go this far. I've called some of them old fools, and you won't hear that on other channels, I don't think. I don't think on other quote truth channels or quote soul trap channel, whatever. You're not going to see that. You're not going to see them saying, hey, you look like an old fool falling for that stupid shit. And that's what that generation needed more of. They didn't get enough, okay? I'm going to be I'm going to be very blunt here. When it comes to the baby boomer generation, the generation of my parents, they didn't get that enough. They didn't get told you're wrong enough. You're doing the wrong thing. You're following the wrong people. You're supporting evil. You're following the wrong shit. Or you're duped. You're deceived. You're acting like an old fool. Smarten up. You know, they thought it was fine to talk to us that way. But man, you should see the reaction when they get it back. The stunned looks on their faces. Because they're one of the spoiled generations. So, uh, yeah, I, I can be too harsh on uh, the millennials sometimes, Gen, uh, Gen uh, Y and Gen Z, Zoomers, I guess they're called, Gen Z. You know, mine, mine is Gen X, okay? X, Y, Z, and that's the last of humanity. Am I saying the world's going to end? No. No, don't jump to those conclusions. Am I saying that it's going to be the plan is humanity 2.0? that they're planning to change humanity completely by Generation Z? Yeah, that's what I think. Do I think it's going to be some mass, quote, genocide event? No. No, I don't. No, I, think they, I, I don't think they want to wipe us all out. I think they're using us as batteries, as energy, sort of like in The Matrix, except slightly different. I mean, that's a movie, but how are you going to portray it? They do try to show you. And people say, well, they're showing, well, how, why, if Hollywood's so evil, why would they show us? Well, maybe there's a cosmic law that they have to show us. And maybe it's part of magic, black magic, where they get 10 times their power if they show us what harm they're doing to us, and they still do it and still pull it off. That's what they believe, okay? That's what dark occultists believe. That's what Luciferians believe. They can show you the trick, and the trick can still work on you. 
and you're that foolish where you get shown what's going to happen. They still pull it off. They get way more power that way. That's their belief, okay? I'm not into that. I'm not a loser. I'll, I'll just be clear with people that are new here. I'm not, a, I'm not a devil worshiper. I'm not a Luciferian. I'm not a Satanist. I'm not a dark occultist. I'm not left-hand path. I'm not any of that stuff, okay? Me studying it has been trying to do good. That's why I try to learn about this stuff. You know the old saying, study your enemy? I take that seriously. I'm a weirdo, okay? I, I study evil in this realm so that one day I can fight it and defeat it. Isn't that weird? Instead of bowing down to it like most people do, you see out there? That's what you see if you're honest. Did you not see that with most people putting the mask on, just following orders, obeying, no matter what they're told? That's how it works here. Anyway, we do things differently here over at the Sanity Machine. We're not like these cults of no personality channels. We're not like the gatekeeper and shill channels. We're not here to contain you. I'm not here to, I'm not a farmer. I'm not here to keep you in an animal farm, all right? I don't want you in a pen. I don't want you slaughtered, taken to the slaughterhouse. And uh, I want you to be empowered, to empower yourself, to choose freedom. And part of choosing freedom is seeing how this fucking realm works, truly, with true, true eyes, okay? With the eyes to see truly and the ears to hear truly. All right, so that's what I want for you. I want you to see this realm as it really is, not as you want it to be, because I don't want it to be the way that it is at all. If I was designing this place, nothing would look the way that it does. It wouldn't operate this way at all. Okay, life wouldn't eat life all day long, every second of every day. For example, um, evil wouldn't be ruling this realm. So, seeing the realm as it is, seeing the evil here is a step in the right direction. It's a step towards your freedom. It's part of what you have to do on your journey. And I'm just trying to help. I can't do it for you, but I can help you. I can show you some things. I can show curious-minded people some things where you can see and hear some things here that you definitely won't on those shill channels, those cults. So that's what we're about here. So don't overreact. If you hear me calling somebody an old fool in a near-death experience analysis, analysis video, that's my style. That's my personality. That's tough love, okay? That's not a, a safe space. That's not Kool-Aid and cookies. And crayons and coloring books and stuffed animals and my little ponies and everything else that they're giving to adults these days in college you know um it, that, it, that is incredible to me the, the way they infantilize adults that are going to college and university you know they could be grad students and it's just incredible it's mind-blowing to me that those students want that they want to be infantilized they want to be put basically in diapers it's just it's like, oh my goodness, you know. So don't fall for that. Don't fall into the safe space trap, okay? Um, this is not a school. Earth, this earth realm is a hell realm. It's not a school or, you know, uh, just a learning experience or just a wonderful, beautiful place where you're going to ascend to 5D or you're going to wait for the rapture and all this stuff. What you've been fed on these other channels is uh, more mind control than I could ever describe in words. And I know it doesn't feel good to hear that. I realize that. But it's helping you to hear the truth, to break free. You've got to break the spell. All right? And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to smash that to pieces. All right? So, yeah, if you were suffocating encased in a dome that's made of glass or some kind of uh, reinforced, not plexiglass, but some, some strange form of glass that's reinforced, hard to break. I would try to help you out of there so you could breathe. I would smash it to pieces. And that's what I'm trying to do, trying to help people break the spell. Break the spell so that you can see what's really going on here. And so that one day you can choose freedom and choose to get out of here and get out of this vicious cycle, which is the reincarnation cycle. All right? Anyway, that's what this channel's about. We're not about coddling here. We're not about safe spaces. 
We're not about sugarcoating evil or sugarcoating lies. We're about the pursuit of the truth. And we're about choosing freedom. All right? And breaking the spell. I'm doing my best. I'm not perfect, but I am doing my best. I'm doing this freely. I'm not a money grubber. I'm, I'm not asking for your money. You, you won't see anything posted on my page about, oh, hey, on my channel about here. You can donate here, here, here. And there's 10 different ways to donate all these cash apps and PayPal and whatever else. I don't know. Vimmo, or I don't even know all of them. I've seen so many. I've seen some people where they have a dozen different ways to donate. You won't see that at all. You don't see that here at all. Okay? So it's different here. You like difference, you're in the right place. And uh, that's all I have to say. I hope you stick around to learn because you're not going to learn this stuff in one video, two videos, or one day. It takes some time. Thanks for listening. Bye.